Good morning, Mr. Music's class. Welcome to math. We are on chapter 4, lesson 10, and that is page 181 in your big math book. I had the pleasure, uh, well, actually, it was kind of the embarrassment of listening to myself in some of the other classes that I taught last week on these videos, and I realized my voice was a little dull, so I wanted to add a little more zest to this one. So uh, let's get started. We're on 181. I don't have a ton of room on this page. Some of the stuff might be cut out a little bit, so I need you to follow along closely. Focus, can-do attitude, taking initiative, and listening carefully. All right, let's start on the top. We are at Victor took 144 photos. So right up here, let me find my mouse. Uh, my ink, my thing gets so small. There we go. 144 photos on a digital camera. The photos are to be placed equally. Remember, that's one of those key words. Equally, same amount. That tells us it's division. In six photo albums. And then our question, we've got to make sure we answer this by the end, is how many photos will be in each of the six albums? Okay, so we could do a lot of different things. You know, visually, we want to be able to think of this as, um, let me find that mouse again. Oh, my goodness. There we are. We could think of this as, you know, six albums. I could draw a picture to represent those six albums. Um, this is a very... Uh, this is probably the, the most favorite method that most students like to use. Uh, draw my six albums, distribute those 144 photos throughout. But there are other ways to do this and ways to do it faster and more efficiently. Um, today's lesson, again, is exactly um, how your parents and I learned how to divide. So step one, use place value to place the first digit. Look at the hundreds in 144. 100 cannot be shared among six groups without regrouping. Regroup 100 as 10 tens. Now there are 14 tens total. So we have the 10 tens from 100 and then the four tens from 40 to share among the six groups. So really what we're doing is you look at one number at a time, okay? This is how your parents and I were taught. So you ask yourself, can six go into one? Well, no, six is bigger than one, so it can't divide into it. Can six go into now 14? Well, yes, six can go into 14 two times, okay? And then you multiply two times six, or two sixes is 12. Then you subtract 14, see we're just doing one place at a time, 14 minus 12, that's 2, and then you bring down your 4. Many of you are saying, oh yes, my, my parents have told me to bring my number down once I uh, finish subtracting, because this, like I said, this is exactly how your parents and I were, were taught to divide. So then we go on to step 3. Now we have 24. Now we're looking at 6 into 24, into the 24. How many times does 6 go into 24? It goes in 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24, so that's the number that will go down here. And then we subtract, and we get 0. <coughs> so, uh, again... Up here, 24 ones divided by 6, if we're filling in all of our information. And then we multiply 4, this 4 that we just wrote, times 6, this divisor out here. And then we subtract 24 ones minus 24 ones. That's this step right here. Uh, zero ones cannot be shared amongst the six groups. And then down here, you can see it in your, on, in your textbook. I kind of got it blanked out. But our answer, our quotient, tells us how many photos go in each one of these books, which is 24 in each one. And if you did your uh, dots, you would count 24 dots in each one of these boxes. And then we can check our answer as well. 
I can multiply 24 times 6 and see if I get to 144, or I can add 24 six times, 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 20, and see if I get back to my divisor, or excuse me, my dividend of 144, okay? So I'm going to go over uh, another example like this as well. This isn't going to be the only one. So uh, tune in to the next video. Again, you can always pause the videos. You can rewind the videos. You can rewatch the videos. Okay. All right. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. In show, discard annotations, and...